Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. It's so nice to have you here. Um, we are going to continue on with um, this cute little kitty that um, I got the reference photo from Pixabay. And um, again, if you would like to um, draw this cat along with me, um, I have the line art available for a free download in my Ko-fi account, and the link to that is in the description box down below the video. And the link to the um, image on Pixabay is also there, so you can um, get both of those and have what you need to, um, to draw along with me. So I'm going to continue using my Polychromos pencils. And again, it's been um, a couple of days <laughs> since I've worked on it, so it might take me another couple minutes to get in the groove again and kind of uh, remember what I was doing and what pencils I was using and all that stuff. So, but we'll get there and then we'll get right back into it. So, um, I'm just... Yeah, I think I'll use this. So this is Burnt Sienna, so I think I'll use that. And um, I'm gonna want my black. And I'm going to want, I already put some of the blue down here, so that's good. Um, let's just kind of start there and see what happens. I've got my slice tool. And all righty, let's, let's zoom in here. Um, I'm debating on putting the orange down first or second. Not orange, you know, burnt sienna, the orangey color. <laughs> um, and actually, that's, that again will bring me to another good point, and that is um, if you don't have polychromos pencils, you can still, you know, you can still do this. You just, I mean, obviously everybody's got a black and everybody's got grays. Um, generally, they have warm grays and cool grays in a set. Um, you can pick an orangey brown and... Um, the exact colors are not are not super important, um, mostly because um, you know depending on on the lighting, the cat is going to look a little bit different, and so you can just kind of say your cat was in um, different lighting situation <laughs> than my cat, um, but. I'm, I am consistently hearing from other artists that the colors that you pick are not as important as the um, as your tonal values, as your lights and your darks. Um, so if you pick something similar, you um, you will be in good shape. All right. So the ear. Oops. I know I should be drawing this on the other side. Maybe. What I'll do instead is I will take my black because there's the edge of the ear. And just I think I'll either put the orange, uh, the <laughs> what colors am I using? Burnt Sienna, and I've also got Burnt Ochre. Burnt Sienna and Burnt Ochre in my hands. And we'll just see 
which looks best, under or over. I think I can do over and be okay. This is the ochre, burnt ochre. I needed it to be a little bit more orange than the burnt sienna that I had, so. But I do think I'm gonna mix some of this in here because I like the way it looks. And actually, the top of the head is pretty black. I don't have it near black enough, so we'll add some more black. And actually, this is all black. So I managed to do something not quite right because my orange area is not as big as the orange area on the photo. Alright, I'm going to make this Yeah, it needs to be darker. So I feel like it's that dark area is just not dark enough. So I'm flipping it over and I'm adding more black to the back. Now I could switch pencils. Um, I could pull out my Derwent Drawing Black, which is a creamy dark black. It's really lovely. Uh, but we're going to try this first. And see how it looks. It's better. It's definitely darker. Okay. Um, so let's put some of these black hairs in here on top of the this little section that I added the blue behind. area right here looks like it should all be kind of the browns the orangey browns and blacks so I don't think I added en enough orange up here but I'm not going to stress about it I'm just going to keep going and not worry I could maybe erase out some of the black that I put in there um, and add some more orange, but I'm, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to call that artistic license. <laughs> if it was a, um, if this was a commission, um, I would definitely do that because <clears throat> obviously we want the cat to look as close as possible to the um, to the reference photo, but since we're just doing this for fun, I'm not going to worry about it. So I think 
think this is our demarcation line right here for this this area so and there's the edge of the eyebrow so we'll just start putting some lines in here Um, I am not pressing as hard as I maybe would on paper, and so my color is kind of coming out more gray than black black. Um, so I'm not sure, I might, maybe I should be pressing a little bit harder. I'm also going to turn my pencil at a steeper angle and try and get a little bit thinner of a pencil line and keep turning that pencil to keep that um, edge always a little bit sharp. I think that helped. All right, I think in this case, hmm, do I want to put this underneath? I might, and I also think I want it to be the darker. So I think I'm gonna flip it and I'm gonna put the burnt sienna on the um, underside. That would be over here. And again, the nice thing when you do this is if it's not right or you don't like it, you can just erase. And no harm done. if I have some a brown brown like this burnt umber I think I'll use that on top I don't want that hair to look too brown I want to be careful with that, so that might be too much. Let's go back to our black. Maybe a little bit more pressure. And that was the eyebrow. And that eyebrow does not look gray enough to me, so I'm wondering if I should just glaze a little bit of cool gray over the top. That's a little better. It's cold gray. I always call the polychromos cool gray because I'm used to my Prismacolor names. <laughs> All right, let's... I kind of feel like that's too, um, I kind of feel like that's too orange, so I'm going to pull that out and see what it, what happens. That's, that's better. That was too, um, it was too much, so now that's, that feels better. I think just the, uh, the brown on, the, the brown and black on top without the, um, orangey color looks better. Okay, so we have to do the ear. So this one is a little bit pinker than what we could see on this other ear. We got a lot more skin showing. 
So I'll use beige red and cinnamon. I'm just getting to my polys in my swatch chart. Beige red, cinnamon. Um, I don't know. I'm debating on if I want to try and maybe on the back side put something even pinker. Well, we'll decide that after we get this on and then, then we can make that decision. Okay, so this right here is light. So I'm going to put some white down here um, just to kind of help keep this area light. And let's see, this is that part. So this part is kind of white too. And that right there. And I know you can't really, you definitely can't see it. I can't see it. Um, but I'm hoping that it will help um, act as a little bit of a resist and help me to keep that area light. So this is quite pink. And this has actually got some, this is like some gray. I should get some warm. Let's see, this is warm gray three. Is that dark enough? Maybe we'll start here and darken it up. I want something um, more purpley pink. It just does not exist in the polychromos. It's just not. Um, I don't see any, I don't know. I'm afraid light magenta would just be way too pink. Um, okay, I'm going to pull it out, and I'll just see what it does when it goes on top of that cool gray. Light magenta is 36. There. Um, okay. I very, 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 in fact, I'll, I'm going to use the side of my pencil. I don't think that that color is dark enough. It's, it's definitely not dark enough. So let's find a darker, this is warm gray four. Still probably going to need to layer some more darker over the top. I am not going to worry too much about what it looks like as far as um, how smooth it is. At least not over here because we're going to be um, screwing. 
scratching hairs all over the top of this, so I don't think it's going to matter much. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and put it down pretty much all over, I think. Except leave a little bit of white. definitely a different uh, the drafting film definitely takes pencils differently than, um, than paper all right I'm gonna see that's just too peachy I'm not dark enough yet I'm still not dark enough yet um, I get timid. I start out timid because I don't want to go too dark. And then it's like, nope, darker. Nope, darker. Gotta go darker. <laughs> it just takes me. I'm hoping that eventually I will get to the point where I recognize just go right in there and get dark because I always find it needs to be darker. Still not dark enough. <laughs> I'll get there. I think that the um, the timidity comes from just not, you know, doing it enough yet. But it always seems to come together in the end. Just maybe takes me a little bit longer. <laughs> All right, so this part is more peachy orangey down here. Then that part is. We want that to be in the grays and purpley tones. So I'm just gonna keep layering until I feel like I'm happy. more of this light magenta in here. It looks really purple right now, but I think after all the hair gets um, put into it, it will not feel this purple. see quite a lot of that purpley color right in here. So again, I'm going to add some more, some more dark and I think maybe I'll start working over here. So let's see, here's an example where you really got to be your um, got to follow your reference photo really carefully. So here's our, that line right there. So there should be a line. This is, this is that right 
there. So I get myself confused sometimes. <laughs> it's like, come on, use your brain. You can figure this out. All right. Um, this line right here, there is a little bit of gray on that edge, so I'm going to go ahead and use it to draw out what I'm trying to do here. And this is that. So this would be a little bit grayer right in here. This is kind of brown. And this is a little bit more orangey. So this is the burnt ochre. And this will just fill in with some color. more of the burnt umber. And I want to smooth that out a bit if I can. And I'm going to come in and erase these lines because they're starting to now be um, distracting and a little annoying. <laughs> so I think it's safe to erase those. Definitely gray. Um, all right, so this is well, that's about right. So I'm going to just put a gray line in here and I'll add the the wispy hairs in here in a minute. that line starting to look like it's supposed to now. All right, I'm kind of thinking I want to try some dark sepia. Um, <clears throat> right along here. like my white ring is too is you know the long, the white bit is too thick but when i measured it it measured outright so i'm not sure what i'm not sure what i did wrong there um this is my warm gray you know i might um 
to Cold Gray 5. That white ring just looks way too thick. Um, so, This is the dark sepia again. And I'm not sure. I think what I'll do is I might add some more of the darker tones after I put the hairs in. I don't like what that looks like right there. That doesn't look right. That came down too far. So I'm just looking for my mono eraser. There it is. Okay, and make sure that it's clean. You don't want to transfer some other color. So, I think I just got that orange down too far. If I go from the top of the ear to kind of the bottom of where the orange is, yeah, all this right here is too far down. So, I'm just going. If you hold your pencil way back, you can get a much finer line with a lot less um, pressure on it, and you can make those hairs really nice and thin, which is what you want. Okay, I'm still feeling like this is not dark enough, and I don't want to start scraping hairs until I really get this in the tone that I want. So this is warm gray four on its side so that we're not putting any um, lines in because the drafting film marks really easily. If we go on the side, it's a lot softer coverage. I'm going to actually try and see what happens if I try and blend if I blend this with my um, Karen Dosh blender. I, uh, I just want to see. I, I feel like it would work, but you just you never know. So let's um, let's see what happens. I'm saying that's a definite yes. I think that blends out just fine. Oh, that's so much better. Okay. 
Good. Good, good, good. Okay, I need to get some color down in here. And that's not that's not bad. This is my cinnamon. Actually needs to be like the um, burnt umber. This is burnt umber. And we need to get some more pink in here. Where's that? Uh, Somewhere in here is is, is my little whoop de doo that I did with the color pen with the white pencil. Oh, there it is, right there. Okay, so there's my. So the white does show up. You just gotta kind of catch it in the right light. Um, so that's that's good. I want to add some and I want that to be pinker. Kind of a combination of the two colors down in here. Okay. This is looking funny because I don't have the the. Um, hairs behind it yet, so um, I do want to add those. I feel like I'm, because right now it looks weird to me, but I think it's just because the hair is not there behind the ear. And if we're going to do that, I think I do want some of the hair showing so that they, um, that when I use the slice tool, it'll come in over the hair. So I'm going to bring some warm gray in there too. I really like the way the mixture of the, the warm grays and the cool grays look together. It makes it so much more interesting. Especially when you don't have color using the combination of the two different grays makes up for the lack of spot here. I think I am.
do what? What do I want to do? I want to erase. Just put a little bit more highlight or lightness. It's probably not a highlight, but just the color needs to be a little bit lighter right here. This stands out too much. It's not, it doesn't blend well. So I need to get some, maybe some hairs. Or some, something. It was just looking like it's stuck out there for no reason. Always add. I think I'll feel a lot better about it once I get the slice whiskers. They're not really whiskers. The ear hairs. Get those in. I think it'll it'll make more sense to me. All right. I want to put some um, grays in here. I'll slice a lot of that out too. But we've got to get a color down so that when we pull the color out with the slice tool, there's something to contrast against. I think there needs to be some pink right in here. feels really it feels really bright it feels brighter than it should be but I I'm hoping that it won't look that bright when I get finished okay this is cinnamon oops that's <laughs> that's not where I wanted that mark to go it's very sharp, so I'm just using it on its side. Because I kind of want to just glaze that color over and make it a little bit less vivid pink. Okay, let's put some black in. start turning brown right here. This is um, cold gray too. I'm just going to kind of add some more <clears throat> pigment down so I can scrape it off. All right, hopefully I have enough down. This is bugging me. This isn't right. Um, I get that right before I scratch. And it's it's probably I'm probably being like dumb and don't need to go through this because I'm the pen the uh, slice tool will take care of it for me. But it's just yeah, I need to trust the process and just leave it alone. Okay, let's let's try the tool and see. 
Mm, before I do that, do I want to add those hairs in? I kind of do. I don't know why, but I do. I want to first take out this orangey color right there. And I want to use my black right here. Hold the pencil way down at the bottom, and so that I so that I'm just barely touching the paper, and that just gives this really nice wispy, wispy hairs. I'm not going to worry about getting them on the white. Um, I think they probably would do that a little bit anyway, so. We can always erase if we need to. Actually, I think I want this line to be a little bit um, heavier. This gray is a little bit uneven and kind of furry. Nice tool. <laughs> All right, so I just This way. A lot more in here. Way over this. I'm gonna come up from here. that are coming this way.
And I'm thinking that I'm going to go on the back side, but maybe I might just do, let's, before I keep going, I'm going to take some ivory. Is that dark enough? brown ochre. Just gonna do a tiny little bit. And actually my line is too big. So this is warm gray three. to get some more <clears throat> warmth. This is Beaster. I need something down here to scratch away or to highlight where I did scratch. So this seems to be working okay. Still feel like it's it needs more purple or something. It needs something. I don't know what that is yet though. It's it needs to be darker. <laughs> in here and even darker up in here. Um, but I think, yes, so where I scratched, unless I push this pencil in really, really hard, the pencil just kind of goes right over the top of it. And so it still stays light which you can darken, yay, right around it. That looks not bad. Something's not right in here though. It's either too, it's too big. It's too big maybe. So if I, feels too, it's, it's too bright, it's too something, something's not right. Yeah, I didn't, sh I don't know, my shape's not right there. My shape is not right. So ear to ear at the top of that point. Well, that's right. And at the widest part. Geez, why does mine look so wrong? It needs to be darker. Um, I'm gonna try gray. On its side. This is um, warm gray four. Deepen that a little bit. I might still deepen this a little bit. And I think there's not enough um, hairs, scratches in here, so that might be the problem. So, 
these cut out a little further. These come down a little further. So I find that my um, slice tool, depending on which way I hold it, gives me a thicker line or a thinner line. So if I scrape from, if I scrape from this side, which is the cutting side, I get a sharper, thinner um, scrape than if I scrape from this side because there's kind of a flat edge right there, which makes your line a little bit thicker. So depending on if you want really super skinny lines or heavier lines, um, you can change from which direction you're, you're using your um, blade. So I'm just gonna add some um, dark sepia like little hairs right up in here. Um, I still don't feel right. I knew that I was not going to feel right about this. I'm going to use, oh, I might try the dark sepia in here. It wasn't dark enough. It's not shaped right either. And we've got dark hairs that should be coming in this way. not terrible. <laughs> um, I'm not unhappy with it. I, it's, it's not, it's not bad. All right, I'm going to add a little bit more dark up in here. Still dark sepia. It's just kind of what I had in my hand. But it's working. I love the way you can darken the stuff underneath and the where you put the slice tool it kind of stays um, kind of stays put. So this should be pinker and I I, I covered that up. I'm not sure if I can fix that or not. I'm gonna try my um, mono eraser and see what happens if I just pull a little bit of this. I might be able to just throw some pink on the back side and call it call it okay. Let's um, see what happens if we do that. Put some pink right in here. that's where I want it. <laughs> Pretty sure that's where I want it. Okay, that worked out really well. So we got that 
pinky color to kind of come through and show better. Um, that's good. I'm happy with that. Um, what about here? I might have gotten this a little bit heavy. So I might just erase some of that away. I could also try scraping. I had to put blue tape on my slice tool because I kept not being able to find it in all amongst my pencils. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna scratch hairs in here. If I haven't already taken too much off with the eraser. Oh, that's good, that works for me. Um, all in all, I'm pretty happy with the way the ear turned out, I gotta say. I think, I think not too bad. I'm just sitting here kind of comparing side by side. Um, not too bad. This right here though should have some hairs going going up I think. So I'm going to use the black and see if I can do that. happy with that. I gotta say. Um, that probably doesn't need to be quite as light as it is. This, I think, will get covered up with um, color. So, all right, I'm, I'm good with that. I think I'm gonna, oops, see, I went a little bit too heavy on that. I wonder if I can fix that. That's because I was holding my pencil down too far when I went to try and make my mark. And so it came out a lot heavier than I was planning. But it worked out okay. I'm good with that. All right, down to here. So we need, I don't want to go too orange and it feels like that um, burnt ochre was just a little bit too orange. So I'm gonna use some cream, maybe, uh, maybe cinnamon. What happens if I use cinnamon, or is that going to be too pink? It's pretty pink. It's pretty pink. Okay, so no to the cinnamon. Are we back to burnt ochre then, I guess? Maybe, yeah, maybe the cream, sorry, the ivory. Uh, maybe we try that first and then put the um, burnt ochre over the top of it.
dark sepia. No, I think I want something warmer. I, think I want burnt umber. And let's get this cream under here. And the burnt ochre. Sepia. And um, these lines are bugging me, so I'm just going to put a few lines on top so I can see where I'm going. Oh, I hate dropping pencils. <laughs> even if they even if they aren't Prismacolors. Okay, so that line's gonna go away. And back to burnt umber. Pretty sure I've got that right, but I'm just gonna okay. Might need some dark sepia. keep my pencils <laughs> out of my way.
make sure I'm not uh, getting distracted and starting to not go in the right direction. Got to be careful about that. Especially when I turn my paper to try and, you know, be at a good angle. I find myself just kind of working away and then going, oh, crumb, that was completely, I have, I totally have to fix the direction of that fur. Okay, so what burnt umber? I think back in here. And we may be slicing and then putting back in again because I, I really like the texture that the slice tool gives. So I can get that texture and then I can come in and put my color back in. And it, oh, it looks really good. So I think that's what I might do. Okay, so I am getting away from the proper, of course that's gonna be gray, so that's gonna mix. We may be okay. some more ivory. Burnt umber. way back on the pencil so that I'm getting really fine, really light marks. Here I can go a little darker. Okay, let's keep going over here. So I'm, I'm trying to um, get this dark to come up in underneath the hairs, if that makes sense, so that we're blending the two, the two colors.
might be time to break out the gray. And we'll do that and then I'll come over and do that. Cool. Cold gray two, maybe. This, I'm just gonna go ahead and lay down a kind of a solid bit of color. Blend that out. And I think I'll I'll leave that um, alone for another time. So let's go down cold gray four. I might just be able to use black, so I'll use the black. another gray. That just is not, um, that cold gray to me is not cold enough. So I might be breaking out some blues. Although blue might just be too blue. I'm going to erase, I'm going to erase those lines, those, it looks like it's starting to get dirty and that's my own fault because I'm touching it with my grubby fingers, which is what I should not be doing. I think it's going to be sky blue again. I think that's feel like that's even a little bit purpley. So maybe I should have used ultramarine. We'll just put a little bit and then again, if we don't like it, we can always erase it. That's the That's so the beauty of this. Now, when I go to put my um, grays and blacks over it, hopefully I will get more of the color that I'm after. So, black. This bit right under the ear is pretty dark, so I need to make sure that I get that as dark as I need to. Again, that is the, one of those things for me that I think I need to work on the most. Making sure my darks are dark enough. It's, um, I hear it consistently from, even from other artists, they, a lot of us have the same um, problem. Oh, that might be too much. <laughs> you get carried away. Don't get carried away. All right, I'm going to come back in with to grays. Gray. Do 
Should we try some warm gray on here? Kind of like that. And then we're going to come in and slice out some color. have to once I slice out I might have to come in and just take some of the blue out I think I got it too far out do I need right in here? A little bit, a little bit of this ochre. What is this? Burnt ochre. keep going all the way oh, I don't know what to, oh, maybe I'll be all right I kind of want to get this done all right let's see what happens if we so for this I'm using the sharper edge so it's the finest little scrape that I can get. Some of these I'm kind of going at an angle from the brush stroke that I put down so that it shows up a little bit better and it makes it so the hair doesn't look like it's um, completely um, all, all parallel to each other. You kind of want the hairs to you know, be a little bit Piggledy piggledy. <laughs> All right, I'm feeling like we need some more darker bits. But I don't think I'm going to take out any of the blue on the back side. I think it, it doesn't look blue. Um, it just looks nice and cool, and that's what I wanted, so I think that that's okay. Um... <sighs> 
might be close to an hour and a half, but I think I want to get this cheek finished. So we'll just keep going and work on on this part, and then we'll um, and then we'll stop. So black under here. Cold Gray 4. And some burnt ochre. Burnt Sienna. Ochre cream. Cold gray six. I actually think I want this to be really sharp.
This one could be hard. Maybe not. Maybe I'll be okay. Get some pencils out of my way. So I can... All right, let's um, let's do some cold gray two. And then that's going to carry down dark right there. Um, let's do a little bit more black right here. And I feel like it needs some more gray. Um, I don't know, cold gray. And I want <coughs> this needs something really lightly. Bring those. Dark sepia. Right? Yes. still need some more and I'm not sure if I want to add this in after I scratch out with the slice tool or not I think I might all right let's see what we get here Doing this, even though you can't necessarily see it, I want the texture, I want the scratch in the um, drafting film. So that I can come in and add some more darker colors. the texture will be there when I do that. Okay, dark sepia.
still not quite right, but we haven't really worked, I haven't really worked this bottom area yet, so maybe I'm not going to worry about that too much because there's still a lot of gray to work in here. Um, Under eye needs to be darker. So I might try doing that on the back side. Helped, but it's still not as dark as I want it to be. That's a little better. Somebody's calling me on my, through a messenger, I guess. I'm busy. I can't take your call right now. to where we're going to end, I think. I don't want to get too... I don't want a three-hour video because that is a nightmare to um, upload. <laughs> um, my editing, not editing, my uh, upload speed not happy with my upload speeds. So it takes two to three times longer to upload a video than it does, you know, the length of the video, which is really a pain. <laughs> Just one. I want to work this area before I start scratching down and sometimes it's good to stop and sit back and look at what you've done um, I know I find that I do a lot better if I just occasionally step away because um, you can get too close um, too, you know, you can be looking at it for too long and not see things that need to be fixed. And I'm, I'm seeing some stuff here that I don't, I'm not happy with. Maybe it's, I just need a little bit more black. There's a few. Well, that, that helped. <laughs> that helped right there. Just that helped.
Yeah. Okay, I think that's a good place to stop. So, I hope I was in frame for that, and you probably did not see the uh, reference, but I think I was in frame, so. All right, so there we are so far. Um, I think, I think it's going very well. Yeah, cool beads. All right, my friends, thanks for um, hanging in there with me once again. Um, I was thinking that if you guys wanted to, if you were um, um, drawing along with me on this, um, maybe when you post on Instagram, we can do a hashtag for it so that I can see your, um, your work. So I thought maybe um, like hashtag coloring or maybe we'll forget the coloring. Maybe we'll go hashtag art by KV cat. Um, and you probably don't need to see that yet unless you post works in progress. So let's see, let's do this. Let's go hashtag art by KV cat. And so if you um, are coloring along with me and you want to show your progress, um, on Instagram, use that hashtag, and then I'll be able to come and see um, what you're doing and how it go how it's going, and um, we can all we can all see what everybody's doing. That'll be kind of fun. So, all right, guys, thank you so much. I will be back. Um, I've got uh, grandbaby for the next few days, so it may be a few days before I can get another video up, but I will do my best. And we will keep moving right along. So until I see you again, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Happy arting. Love you. Bye.